Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Lima Senior High School, where tonight in Division Three District Semifinal Action, the Spencerville Bearcats tangle with the Wayne Trace Raiders. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilly Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. Gilly game two from Lima Senior. What a matchup. We got two really good squads, the Spencerville Bearcats and the Wayne Trace Raiders. Well, you got the Spencerville Bearcats who went undefeated in Northwest Conference play this year, and you got the Wayne Trace Raiders who themselves went undefeated in the Green Meadows Conference. So it's going to be a clash of the two top uh, leaders in respective conferences here with the winner getting the Ottawa Glendorf Titans in the district finals after the Titans defeated Liberty Benton earlier this evening. So, yeah, it's this one's going to be a Donnybrook, partner. Go, let's take a look at the keys to the game. Let's start with the Wayne Trace Raiders. Well, let's go with the Wayne Trace Raiders. Number one, they've got to try to contain the big three of Spencerville, that being the Sensible brothers as well as Carter Sutoff, uh, one of uh, Sutoff being the sec- uh, first team all-conference, and the Sensible brothers, one being a first team and the other one being a second team all-conference player. One and done mentality on the glass. You got to match Spencerville's ability and desireness to offensive rebound. They do a really good job of attacking the glass from all spots on the floor. And three, Wayne Trace has to do a really good job of handling on ball pressure and the physicality on cuts. You know, Coach Sensible's an Ohio Northern protege, played for Coach Doherty and Coach Campoli, and he loves that half-court man-to-man and being physical and jamming cutters. So it's important that Wayne Trace be able to mentally and physically adjust to Spencerville's aggressiveness defensively. And speaking of Coach Kevin Sensible and the Spencerville Bearcats, they come in, Gilly, at 19-4, 8-0 in the Northwest Conference. They are flat out loaded. What's the keys to the game for them to win this one tonight? Well, I think, number one, foul trouble. You've got to stay out of foul trouble. If you get in foul trouble and you put Wayne Trace at the charity stripe, they are shooting a very respective 70% as a team, and they get to the free throw line a bunch during the regular season. Number two, if it ain't broke, why don't you fix it? Or why, you know what? <laughs> I got you. Don't fix the thing. You know what? And, and that's what got Spencerville where they're at. They play the game inside out. The kids respond to Coach Sensible and his staff and the coaching style. Just play. Do what you do best and do what's got you here. And lastly, number 23 and 24, their presence. And I'm talking about the inside presence of Sutoff and Orr for the Bearcats. You know, if you, you, they've got to get touches. Play the game inside out, and when those two produce, good things happen for the Bearcats. Partner, we got a dandy. It's Wayne Trace at Spencerville. When we come back, we'll have the tip and the starting lineups. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert for the second game of tonight's split session between the Wayne Trace Raiders and the Spencerville Bearcats. The first game was won by Ottawa Glander for Liberty Benton, 40, or 57-41. And Gil, if you take a look at this matchup tonight, and obviously Wayne Trace, the big story, is losing the All-State guard, Brooks Lockoff. Look, Gilly, I'm not exaggerating when I say this. After Colin White, he may be the best player in the area. He's that good. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned himself a scholarship to High Dominican University Division II, and it shows you how much respect for they have for that young man. He was still named the POI, the player of the year in the conference. 22 points a game. 22 points a game, and give a lot of credit to the rest of the team and the, the coaching staff now. Are they limping their way in? Yeah, they've lost two of their last three. Shawnee beat them, Ottawaville beat them, but they did beat uh, Columbus Grove. So yeah, they're, they're, they're in here for a reason and it's gonna be a great game. Let's take a look at the starters for Wayne Trace. They'll go with number three, Hudson Myers, a 6'2 guard at 6.8 a game. Number five, Tanner Lockoff, 5'10 guard at 5.5 a game. Number 12, Caden Sin is a six foot sophomore at 4.8 a game. Number 22, Carter Clemens, 6'3 forward at 3.4 a game. And number 40, Kyle Stoller, is a 6'3 senior at 17.3 a game. Gilly, for Spencerville, they're led by a couple of underclassmen, the Sensabaugh brothers, Will and Owen, and they are fantastic guards. I wonder if they're any relation <laughs> to the head coach. I think a little bit. Uh, yeah, he's their father. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? It's in the bloodlines, and, yeah, they can both play, one being a first-team all-conference, the other one being a second-team all-conference. Oh, yeah. 
by the way, dad coach of the year. That's right. Let's take a look at their starting lineups, Gilly. They'll start number two, Will Sensabaugh, the freshman sensation, averages 10.1 a game. Number five, Evan Osting is a senior guard at 9.9 .9 a game. The brother, Owen Sensabaugh, the sophomore, number 13, 5'11 guard, 14 a game. And the big guys, Carter Sutoff, number 23, the 6'6 senior, averages 12.9 a game. And Carter Orr, the 6'4 junior, at 7.8 a game. Look, I've had Spencerville several times this year, Gilly. Carter Sutoff is an elite rebounder, Gilly. When I say that, you don't say that about a lot of high school kids. The kid is elite when it comes to rebounding. Well, and you know what? He's just grew and grew and grew physically, and he's put his time in and matured as a basketball player, and he's been in the weight room, and you could tell his game is elevated, and he is really, really athletic, especially around the rim. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Cary Insurance in Grover Hill, proudly investing in our youth programs and community. Cary Insurance is our scoreboard sponsor. So, Gilly, we're underway here, and you got to remember, last year these Bearcats went to the district finals where they bowed out to a really good Ottawa Glendorf team, so they're on a mission here tonight. Yeah, I think... Uh you know, they, they want to get rid of the bad taste in their mouth and try to get a rematch, but they've got to go through right now. They've got to take care of business against the Wayne Trace Raiders. And the Raiders will control the ball. This, excuse me, control the ball. This is Tanner Lock off the guard. He'll swing it over to the right side. This is Hudson Myers. He'll swing it over to Caden Sin. There's a dribble drive by Lock off. Ball swatted away. Here comes Will Sensabaugh. The freshman will take it up, misses the shot. Rebound comes down, controlled by the Raiders. They'll bring it down the right side. They find a cutter to the basket, and that is number 40 for the Raiders, Kyle Stoller, the 6'3 senior, who's an absolute fantastic basketball player. Him and Brooks Lockoff made a wonderful one-two punch. Yeah, his accolades this year, he was also named a first-team all-conference in the Green Meadows. So Kyle Stoller will go to the free throw line. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Dolphins, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe or home style happens here. Kyle Stoller is a 71% shooter from the line. He makes one out of two, and the faithful from Wayne Trace will, Wayne, excuse me, Wayne Trace will sit down in front of us, Gilly. What is it with these teams that want to stand up? Hey, you know what? Wait. Love it. <laughs> this is Will you Sensabaugh know, for the Bearcats. Wayne Cats. Trace loves their basketball just like Spencerville. We had four you know, schools in this district that all love basketball in the community. There's a nice little turnaround by Evan Osting. Evan Osting, the senior guard, knocks in the jumper, and he makes it 2-1 on the Cary Insurance scoreboard. You know, and he's really quiet in his scoring, coming in just at 9.9 .9 points a game, but you got to respect him as a basketball uh, player. He's a, he's a, he's an all-dirty player. What I mean by that is he gets down and dirty, Gilly. I don't mean anything disrespectful. He does the dirty work. He'll rebound. He'll get the good pass. He's a really good player. Here comes Wayne Trace down 2-1. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Lima Senior Gymnasium. Not a sold-out crowd, but a big crowd. I bet the uh, Spencerville Bearcats have 75% of their seats uh, filled up, as well as Wayne Trace over here. So they'll swing it around. This is Caden Sin, the six-foot guard. Sophomore takes it in, right-handed scoop shot, and the rebound comes down to Sutoff, and we talked about his rebounding prowess. This is Owen Sensabaugh. He'll dribble drive right side. He finds Sutoff down low, and he scores. Carter Sutoff, the 6'6 senior, averages 13 a game, and he could be a problem all night for the Raiders. Really good pass with a dump off right there and a finish there by Sutoff at the rim. This is Carter Clemens, number 22, out top, the 6'3 sophomore. Excuse me, the 6'3, yes, 6'3 sophomore at 3.4 a game. And they lose the ball again, and Sutoff corrals it, gets it over to Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh finds a streaking Evan Osting. Little oh, turnaround nice move. Nice little Evan Osting. Spin left to right, finger roll. My goodness, Evan Osting knocks it in, makes a 6 1 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Yeah, this is uh, what Coach Linder, the, the type of start I don't think he was looking forward to. They need an answer. And they need one quick. This is Hudson Myers, swings it across, gets it over to Lockoff. Lockoff almost loses it, gets down low. He's double team. Swing it back out. They'll dribble drive to the middle, and we're going to get a foul. And it looks like, they, looks like they got, yeah, Evan Osteen, you are correct. Tonight's instant replay, Gilly, is brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Charles River, our instant replay sponsor. 
Hopefully we'll get some good instant replays tonight. We've got a great crew working with us tonight, so they do a fantastic job here. 5-11 to go. Spencerville leads 6-1 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Brady Miller in the game now for the Raiders. There you saw Kyle Stoller, the 6'3 forward, tries to take it up. It's blocked. Shot comes back down, and number 22, Carter Clemens, scores the bucket, and it makes it 6-3 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Yeah, that's probably one right there where Orr probably should have just took the basketball and just let it go out of bounds because they give another opportunity for Wayne Trace, and they cashed in. This is Orr with the ball. Swings it over to Owen Sensabaugh. Fade away. Sutoff with the rebound. Misses the shot. Gets another rebound. But they're going to say Evan Osting was fouled on the putback. And there's Evan Osting. I told you, Gilly, he's in good position all the time. Well, and that's one of the concerns coming in for Wayne Trace is rebounding the basketball. You know, even though they've out-rebounded their opponents by almost four a game, you know, losing Brooks does not make it any easier, so it's going to add a little extra responsibility on each and every one in the, the red and blue to rebound the basketball both ends of the floor. So Evan Ostings goes to the line. He knocks in the first one, 431 to go. Spencer will lead 7-3, and he knocks in the second one. He makes it 8-3 to three on the carry insurance scoreboard. Uh, Gilly, I'm just going to say this, and I know it's early, but Spencer looks really relaxed. They look mm -hmm. uh, in control. Uh, they know the situation. They've been here before. That's got to be a plus. Oh, absolutely. You know, Michael Woods into the ball game. Nice play there by Osting. Osting tried to throw it off the Wayne Trace Raider, and it comes back to him, and they'll get it out to Will Sensiball. He'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Dribble drives to the left side. Kick it back out. This is Carter Orr. Oh, Finds great teamwork. Michael Woods down low, and he misses the shot. He just rushed the shot there, Gilly. And a blown opportunity by the Bearcats, and we're going to get a held ball, and it's going to go back to the Spencerville Bearcats. Michael Woods. Johnny on the spot there underneath the basket. Just missed that shot. Maybe a little bit of nerves there. Yeah, I don't I don't know whether he thought he was going to come in, you know, this early in the ball game. <laughs> but uh, what a great pass there by a little dump off there by Orr. Just unfortunately, Michael uh, shot a little bit too hard. Here comes Sensiball. He'll dribble down. Kick it back out to Will Sensiball. Sensiball, Will Sensiball on the left side. Kicks it over to Osting. Osting dribble drive, takes it in left hand and it scores. Evan Osting is having himself a Sneaky night. quick. He's got eight of the ten, and the Bearcats lead 10-3 on the carry insurance scoreboard. We got a timeout. We got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout of the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So, Gilly, this is the start that Coach Sensabaugh was dreaming of, and they're playing really well up 10-3 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Yeah, this this is the one, you know, we made the statement earlier, you know, Wayne Trace needs a basket yeah. to trim into this seven-point lead. You know, we played, what, uh, a little over four and a half minutes or a little under four and a half minutes. I was say your and, math is a little. <laughs> yeah, four and a half minutes, three and a half minutes. Okay, well, anyway. I got you, Gilly. We got three minutes, 34 <laughs> seconds to go. <laughs> Wayne Trace has got to find, you know, sure. an offensive answer here. Yeah. You know, they got to they got to try to get, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Staller involved somehow. There's another missed shot there. That was number 22, Carter Clemens, with the miss. This is uh, Sensabaugh on the right side, and nothing dropping right now. Owen oh, Sensabaugh misses that shot, and they're going to get a foul on the play. And that foul is going to go against Michael Woods. Good effort there by Woods going after that basketball. Unfortunately, got piece of the arm. Entering the game now for Wayne Trace, number 15, Kale Winnens, the 5'10 senior, averages 2.5 a game. So, Coach Jimmy Linder for the Wayne Trace Raiders bringing in some substitutes to uh, run with the Bearcats here. And they're going to say, was it a foul or on the end line? They're going to call a foul. I think they got Woods with a push. And that's the second one on Michael Woods, a key reserve for the Bearcats. And that's two on Woods with 3.02 to go in the first quarter. Our three-point sponsor tonight is Simplified Flooring. Today's three-point sponsor, Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. There's a dribble drive by Tanner Lockoff. They'll swing it back out to Winans. This is Lockoff. 
They'll go inside to Stoller. Stoller goes up against Orr. Nice, nice move. Job. Nice job there by Kyle Stoller. That young man knows how to score, Gilly. Make no mistake about that. Yeah, the defense was really good by Orr. Just a better shot right there by Mr. Stoller finishing around the rim with that little quick drop step spin. Bearcats try to go inside to Carter Orr. He'll skip pass it over to Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh with a three ball off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Raiders, and they're off to the races. They'll go down the right side, and number five, Tanner Lockoff, is fouled, and he'll go to the Lee's Famous Recipe line for two shots. I think they got Grady Smith, I believe, or was not. It may have been mm -hmm. Owen Sensible. It was Owen Sensible. Owen Sensible, you're right. So plenty of guys to check in the scores table now. Spencer will bring in two fresh bodies. Wayne Trace will bring in one. And the first one is up, and it is good. Tanner Lockoff, the 5'10 sophomore guard, averages 5.5 a game. He's got one for the Raiders tonight. And it's 10-6 on the Carry Insurance scoreboard. Not as warm in here for game two, Gilly. Oh, yes. Nice little breeze. Right, nice little breeze blowing in here. I'm, I'm glad. And Lockoff lets the second one go, and he misses that one. Rebound comes down, and it is corralled by Will Sensiball. Body's hitting the floor there. Here come the Bearcats. This is Osting on the right side. He'll dribble drive baseline. Gets it back out to Will. Sensiball, three ball on the way, and it's off the mark. Rebound goes into the corner, and it's saved. No, they're going to say he stepped on the end line. Let's go back to Wayne Trace. Yeah, Osting trying to go after that right there and corral that basketball in the corner. Unfortunately, had his foot on the sideline. So Wayne Trace getting uh, pecking their way back into this one, down four with a chance to slice into that lead. Kyle Stoller with a beautiful move on the left side. Kyle Stoller, the 6'3 senior, he cuts the lead to 10-8, and he's got five on the night. Yeah, he's a really experienced basketball player. All these kids are back from last year and had a really successful season last year, and, you know, he's pieced together another solid season, this being his senior year. They'll go inside to Michael Woods. Michael Woods gets it over to Osting. Osting will dribble drive right side. Finds a cutting Carter Sadov. Boy, he's a problem, Gilly. He's 6'6", he's long, and he's athletic. Oh, and he got soft hands because I'll tell you what, that was a bullet pass from about five feet, and he corralled that thing and finished it. Well, John Chaney, the former coach at Temple, used to talk about big men. If they can't catch the ball in the post, you got to cut them. Carter Sadov can catch the ball in the post. I'm not advocating to cut kids. And he can, he can go, I was trying to think of something else. He can go get it, too. Yeah, Stoller takes it in, well, and they're going to say Kyle Stoller with a charge. And, you know, he was a little out of control, and he put his head up in the air, and they called the charge on Kyle Stoller. That's his first. Yeah, good job right there. It was, it was trying to see who that was. It stepped. Oh, that was Michael Woods who stepped there and took that charge on the replay. Michael Woods will take good a Good minutes seat. for yeah. that young man. Absolutely. They'll bring Carter Orr back in the game. The 6'4 junior, and they get a little bigger with a 6'4 or and a 6'6 set off on the floor at the same time. This is Will Sensabaugh, the freshman point guard for the Bearcats. Talked to his dad a lot this year, and this young man's a heck of a football player too. He's a quarterback and really good athlete. Wayne Trace changing it up defensively, going to a little flat 3-2. Or thought about taking it in. They'll swing it across. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Grady Smith, Mr. Do-It-All off the bench, knocks in the triple, and he makes it 15-8. to eight. Our three-point sponsor, Simplified Flooring, another three-pointer from Simplified Flooring. Yeah, coming in, he had hit 19, give him 20 on the season for the Bearcats. Wayne Trace will hold for the last shot here. We're under 10 seconds. They're down 15-8. to eight. We're down to three seconds. Stoller with the ball, takes a three from the top of the key. It's off the mark. After one quarter of play from Lima Senior High School, the Spencerville Bearcats lead the Wayne Trace Raiders 15 to eight. We'll be back with second quarter action right after these messages. Back here at Lima Senior High School, we're after one quarter of play. The Spencerville Bearcats lead the Wayne Trace Raiders 15 to eight. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Now, I had Lee's last night. I might have to stop again. Well, they're going to be closed by the time I get out of here. 
Gilly, what am I going to do? Do you, do you remember saying that to me earlier? T- I said, I just said, well, I talked to you about it earlier. You yeah, did. I'm just trying to get you excited no, about you're Lee's. just trying to rub it in. That's exactly <laughs> what you're trying to do. <laughs> Gilly, Spencerville maintained composure there in that first quarter. Pretty much controlled the tempo of that first quarter. They did. They controlled the tempo, but give a lot of credit to Wayne Trace. You know, getting down early like they did at 10-3, to 3, you know, even though it's still seven points uh, differential at the end of this first quarter, they did a really good job about executing their offensive set, and that all started with Mr. Stoller, their senior all Green Meadow Conference first teamer that uh, willed them to a couple baskets and got them eight points. And Coach Linder's got to feel really good about that as we enter the second quarter. The Bearcats are going to start the second quarter with Evan Osting on the bench. There's a nice cut by Lockoff as he gets down low. Oh, he finds pass. a cutter, and oh. my goodness, Carter Sutoff just knocked that one to half court. Here comes Kyle Stoller, takes it off the right side. Rebound comes down, Carter Orr, and there you see in the size advantage of the Bearcats right now. Well, what was so impressive is how quick he elevated. My goodness, that I was I mean, a... he bounced real quick. Here's Sutoff as he gets it down low, and... Nice job there by Carter Orr of trying to clean up the missed shot. Boy, when Carter Sutoff gets positioned like that, that's almost impossible. You see there on the, on the excuse me, on the, the replay, on the Charles River replay, yeah. So number 24 for the Bearcats, Carter Orr. Yeah, that, that block was impressive. Yes, it was. I mean, it was bang, bang. He was right back on up in the air, and I mean, it was not a tip ball. It was a swatola. <laughs> was. Carter Orr. There's even such a thing, but yeah. <laughs> Goes to the Lee's famous recipe line, knocks in the first one, and he misses the second one. What's old Lee Corso saying? Not so not fast, Not so my fast, friend. my friend. Gilly, how appropriate is it that the foul line is Lee's famous recipe? Foul line? Yeah. <laughs> you don't even laugh anymore, no, Gilly. Well, you know, I'm, I'm concentrating on the game. Shot goes up. Nice outlet pass out to Owen Sensiball. He's going to get down the left side, and he's going to score for the Bearcats, and they lead 18-8 to with seven minutes to go here until halftime. I mean, I could sit here and say some of your comments are foul too, but that's oh, okay. Oh, that's a nice one, Gilly. Oh, thanks. <laughs> here come the Raiders trying to get back in this. Down 10 with 6.50 to go on the carry insurance scoreboard. Danny Hobart, Darren Gilbert from Lima Senior High School. Division three district semifinals. Both these teams trying to get to the district finals where they will take on the winner of the OG Liberty Benton game, which we know Ottawa Glendorf won that one. So Raiders here on the offensive set. This is Tanner Lockoff with the ball, trying to push it down inside to Kyle Stoller, the 6'3 senior. He's going to dribble drive foul line, and he takes the shot, and he's going to be fouled. Yeah, I think they got Will Sensible in the cookie jar right there. Let's take a look at the replay and see what happens. Yeah, I think he got he swiped Oh, down. yeah, he swiped down on it, got him across the right wrist, and that's what Coach Sensiball is trying to tell his kids. Just wall up and, you know, make them hit the tough shot. Anytime, and, Gilly, those officials see those arms oh. swipe down, you're going to get it called every time. Yep. So Kyle Stoller will go to the line, the least famous recipe free throw line. He'll knock in the first one. Kyle Stoller, the 6'3", senior, averages 17.3 a game. And our colleague over at WSN, Miles Holiday, had texted me earlier and said there were some college coaches here tonight watching Kyle Stoller, some small schools that really like his games. So yeah, High Northern. I see High Northern over there, and the Defiance right. is here, and a okay. few other schools. Two big free throws by that young man. Give, give him seven for the game, 71% at the charity stripe. There's that flat 3-2 that Coach Linder is going to lean on here to try to slow the Bearcats down. You can check out our highlights of tonight's Stalia Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page after the game. There's a three ball from the left side. Rebound comes down to Orr. He's going to take it back up where he's going to be fouled. Here you see the height advantage right now of the Spencerville Bearcats. Carter Orr. Yeah, look at the effort on the back side. Nice power move right here. Drawing the contact. Going to get two free throws for and the Gilly, young man. As, as much as it is about rebounding, it's about the position of the bigs for Spencerville right now. They're getting so far down on the low post. Well, here's the issue. When you play zone, okay, you're not, chasing, an issue. Yeah, you're yeah, not right. chasing a man all over the floor. you got a rebounding responsibility into the areas right. and – and that's tough yeah, and when you're used to, you know, playing man-to-man. If you, And I'm sure Coach Linder plays a lot of zone, but uh, like you said, the size and the length of Spencer Bill's post players can present a lot of challenges, and right now that's that's the case. Bearcats lead 20-10 to 10 on the carry insurance scoreboard. 
Raiders trying to cut into that lead. This is Stoller with the dribble drive. He's going to take it up and a nice move nice by move. Kyle Stoller. Boy, when he gets moving downhill, Gilly, he is a force to reckon with. That young man's got nine smooth, of their 12. He? he is very smooth. Makes it 20-12 on the carry insurance scoreboard. This is Will Sensabaugh with the ball up top. He's playing pitch and catch with Evan Ostings at the 525 mark in the second quarter. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Lima Senior High School. I got a feeling there's probably some small schools here watching number 23. Beautiful White cut also. by Carter Sutoff. And a great entry pass by Osting. My goodness, makes it easy. Sutoff's got six on the night, and it's 22-12 on the carry and scoreboard. Yeah, did a really good job sealing in the post, coming, meeting the pass, and finishing at the rim. Stoller goes on the left side, misses that shot. Nice rebound by the Raiders. They'll go back up top. Try to go back down to Stoller. He's guarded by Carter Orr. What a matchup. And they're gonna yeah. get, or you saw Orr they extend the arm. Yeah, let's let's take a look here on the yeah, Charles well. River replay. It looked like they got him with you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. he armed. <laughs> he's like, ah, touche. Well, then he looked at the ref like, I didn't do nothing. Yeah, I didn't do nothing. Our camera people do a great job. Oh. They catch it every day. <laughs> yeah. They're the truth tellers. <laughs> little arm bar right there. I, well, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I do like Carter Orr's attempt to try to get out of that, though. <laughs> Here's Kyle Stoller. He's going against Michael Woods down to the post, and Stoller just getting his position really far down low, and Carter Sutoff gets it over to Evan Osting, and the Bearcats will take over with 4.39 to go, up 22-12. Yeah, the Bearcats very fortunate right there, not to, you know, giving up that second, third opportunity, and there you see Mr. Uh, Sensible knocking one in. Oh, and Sensible knocks it in with 4.29 to go. Bearcats lead 24-12. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. You need another job, Gilly? Teaching, broadcasting, radio celebrity? Get oh, you a job shoot. at Charles River? Yeah, we do it all, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> throw something th throw something else on the table. Gilly, I, mean, I dare I, say, the, the media moguls out there, I mean, you're, you're as busy as anybody in the media right now. You love this stuff, don't you? <laughs> I enjoy it. I have fun with it. <laughs> you are a good man. Do a great job. I appreciate that. You, you do, do a same. fantastic we got, we job. We got some really good people. We sure do. Here comes Wayne Trace Raiders down 24-12. There's a three ball from the left side, and it's off the mark. And they're going to oh, say, think they got a push. I think you're right. They're going to get a push on number 10, Brady Miller from Wayne Trace. And you couldn't see it because we were blinded, but they're going to get him on that one. That's his first. Brady Miller. Trying to be discreet. Guy. Yeah, he was. He was. Problem was, the official was right there. Not only one official, two. Been a, been a, you know, the officials have really done a nice job tonight, Gilly, on, on both these games. So, you know, we uh, – We'd like to give them their props. Evan Osting with a dribble drive to the middle. Uses the backboard. <laughs> oh, Evan Osting. He's got 10 of the 26. Not his average. The Bearcats lead 26-12 on the carry insurance scoreboard. There's a nice dribble drive there by Wayne Trace. Here comes Owen Sensabaugh, and Kyle Stoller was just in the middle of the floor, and he knocks the ball away. Gets it over to the Raiders. There's a 12-foot jumper there by number three, Hudson Myers. It goes off the mark. Here comes Will Sensabaugh down the middle of the floor, and he looks to reset the offense. He'll go dribble drive left side, takes it up, scores, and he's fouled. Will Sensabaugh will go to the Lee's famous recipe line for an old-fashioned three. Little hesitation move off the ball screen there at the high post on that Charles River replay. Kissed it high and soft off the, the glass, going to get the end one. Look, Gilly, these Sensabaugh boys are special, and they're special because they're coaches' sons and they stay in the gym, and they know the game, and that's part of the battle. They know the game. They play the game just like Dad did. Yep, so Dad little. had a tremendous career, not only in high school at Spencerville, but he really high Northern, yeah. elevated it at a high Northern. Bear Very well-respected, coached in over 500 varsity contests as a coach. Absolutely. So the Bearcats lead 29-12. Stoller with a foul line jumper goes off the mark, and it's brought down by Tanner Lockoff. He loses it. And Evan Osting grabbed it, but he stepped out of bounds. Now let's take a replay again right here. Charles River, Osting giving effort. Oh, yeah, got, yeah, the, just stepped got, out. <laughs> got the right paw on the out-of-bounds line right there in front of the official. Good caught piece it. of officiating there, Gilly, when he slammed the ball down. It wasn't against the officials. He was mad at himself. Oh, so yeah. Good piece of officiating there. 
Here comes Lockoff. Think I could hide my 18s down there? No, I don't me. think so. <laughs> Stoller with a nice oh, move. Oh, nice move. Kyle Stoller, great position. Little baby half hook from the right side. He scores. He's got 11 of the 14. It's 29-14 on the carry insurance scoreboard. This first half has just flown by, Gilly. Spencerville comes in averaging 61 points a game. Defensively, they give 46 a game. From two-point land, Gilly, pretty efficient at 54%. Three-point line, they're at 33%, and a nice 64% from the free-throw line. I know you'd like to see that free-throw a little higher, but mm -hmm. uh, there's Sensible ball from the right side, and he knocks it in, a simplified flooring three, and he gives the Bearcats the 32-14 lead on the carry insurance scoreboard. You know, I was looking at the numbers, Wayne Trace. They're coming in at 58 points, scoring per contest, holding opponents to just under 45, so that's not too shabby. Absolutely. This is Stoller again. He'll kick it out to Lockoff. Lockoff, little dribble drive, little turnaround. He got nothing there, so he's going to try to kick it back out. They'll swing it over. Carter Clemens gets it up top, guarded by Sutoff. This is Stoller. Carter Orr tries to stop the jumper, and Kyle Stoller, right now, it's just automatic, Gilly. And he makes it 32 16. On the carry insurance scoreboard, he's got 13 of the Raiders' 16. This is Sensible, deep three, off the front of the rim. Here come the Raiders with a chance to close the gap. And Orr's defense was really good. Really good, Just yeah. a better effort and shot-wise by... Tanner uh, Lockoff scores the bucket, and he'll ball. go to the Lee's famous recipe free through line. Uh, here's the replay right here. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> we wanted to see him slam the ball yeah, down again. <laughs> yeah, we wanted a replay of that. No, what a move right there. Nice little, going to get the and one. And it looks like we got another timeout on the floor with 1.55 to go until halftime. We'll step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So 32-18 with 154 to go. Gilly, Wayne Trace has got to get more scoring out of the rest of that team. Kyle Stoller, 13 of the 18. Yeah, 13 of the 18. And I, you know what? It all starts with the Bearcats and their defensive effort that they've given and they've done a really good job shutting down the lanes for dribble drives. And when the dribble drives there, they've done a really good job with helping and recovering. And and I think that's sort of frustrated the Raiders a little bit. But I'm, I agree with you. I think somebody else has got to step up point production-wise if the Raiders want to get back into this thing. It cannot just rely on Mr. Stoller. So Tanner Lockoff knocks in the free throw, makes it 32-19. Lockoff's got four for the Raiders, 150 to go. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Lima Senior High School in the Division Three District Semifinals. Game two here from Lima Senior High School. Wayne Trace in that big zone trying to slow down that Bearcat attack. They'll push it into Sutoff. Sutoff just bullies his way. Carter Sutoff, the 6'6 senior, knocks it in. He's got eight on the night. And the Bearcats lead 34-19 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Really good recognition seeing that he had Tanner uh, Sutoff, or excuse me, Lockoff on his backside. Lockoff finds Staller going to the rim. He misses that shot. Evan Osting's outlet. He'll find Sensiball down the right side, left side. Misses that shot, and it goes out of bounds, and they're going to say, yeah. Randy Prince said, nope, it's going back the other way, back to the Wayne Trace Raiders. But, you know, going back to the play that Sutoff finished right there at the rim, he recognized Lockhoff was on his backside and just, you know, just got his feet together and exploded to the rim. That's a heck of a move right there. So Kyle Stoller bringing the ball down the floor for the Raiders. We are under one minute to play until halftime. Bearcats lead 34-19 on the carry insurance scoreboard. This is Lockoff up top. He'll swing it to the right side. Back over to Lockoff. He goes middle of the floor. Back over to number 42, Zach Stoller, the 6'4 freshman in the game now for the Raiders. This is Lockoff up top. He gets a screen from Stoller. He's going to take it all the way in. And Carter Sutoff blocks that one, and they're going to get a foul. And I'm not real sure who that foul is going to go on if it is Carter Sutoff. Let's take a look at this replay. Here. And it is Carter Sutoff. That's his second. And I'm sure with 34 seconds to go, Coach Sensabaugh will get him out of the game. Well, I think one of the big ones right, right there was, you know, from the official standpoint, he swatted down at the basketball. If he stays straight up, 
I'm not so sure I'm the not, official doesn't right. blow the whistle. Yeah, so Tanner Lockoff will go to the line, the Leeds famous recipe free throw line. He misses that one. I think Coach Sensabaugh is going to go with Carter Sutoff. He's not bringing anybody to the scorer's table. Because that makes me think he's going to hold that ball for the last shot. Second one on the way, and it's good. Tanner Lockoff. Yeah, Coach Sensabaugh right now is communicating what he wants this last 34 seconds. Little, uh, let's take a look and let's see what we're doing here. Looks like a little. Uh, Wayne Trace in a big 1-2-2. One, 1-2-2, two, one, two, two. Two. Yeah. yeah. They got the big kid, the big freshman up on top because of his length. Boy, he's got some big shoes. He's going to be a big kid before it's all yeah, said and sure done. Is. Look at his length. He sure is. A freshman, no, no less. Got to like that. Yeah. Evan Osteen with the ball. We're down to seven seconds. This is Osteen. Osteen dribble drives. Foul line jumper off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's Wayne Trace grabs it. They heave it up, and that'll do it. After one half a play from Lima Senior, the Spencerville Bearcats lead the Wayne Trace Raiders 34-20. We'll be back with second half action right after these messages. Welcome back. It's halftime here at Lima Senior where the Spencerville Bearcats lead the Wayne Trace Raiders in the Division III District Semifinals 34-20. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Cary Insurance in Grover Hill, proudly investing in our youth programs and our communities. So, Gilly, uh, Spencerville really owned the boards in the first half. Carter Sutoff was really good. Kyle Stoller for the Wayne Trace Raiders kept the Raiders in this one, only down 14. Yeah, down 14. You know, this this first four minutes of the third quarter is going to play either huge dividends for Wayne Trace or they're going to fall deeper behind that 14-point margin they have right now. Let's see what happens. Let's see how Spencerville comes out and attacks this. Looks like a 1-3-1. Yeah, they're going to go big 1-3-1. Oh, they're yeah, going to play that freshman yeah, up top. They're yeah, they're play the freshman up on top. I, I, I like the strategy of putting Zach Stoller up top and really causing him problems. There's Sensabaugh. Gets oh, it out to Osteen. Job. Three ball on the way. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Kyle Stoller. Kyle Stoller was a man among boys in the first, or the first half. He had 13 of the Raiders' 20 points. Let's see if he can keep that momentum going. He gets the ball on the right side. They're going to try to push the ball down to the big freshman. And the shot goes up. Rebound comes down. And Kyle gets Kyle Stoller gets his rebound. Ball's on the floor. Stoller, a little foul line jumper. It's off the mark. And here comes Owen Sensible on the Bearcats. He'll bring it down the middle of the floor. He's got to take it up on the right side. Misses the shot. Carter Sutoff tries to grab it. And they're going to say a held ball. And Carter Sutoff with a big boy move of just trying to get the ball back for the Bearcats, but it'll go back to the Raiders. Boy, the Sensible boys are just so quick with the basketball. Goodness. And, you know, and, and just didn't quite get that one a little high on the, the glass to give it an opportunity to go in. I think they got Orr right there trying to go through a screen. I think you're right. Carter Orr on the foul. And that is, let's see what that one is for Carter Orr. Let me put it. I think that's only his first. Well, I think it's oh, his okay. second. It's his I knew second. he had one in the first well, I'll half. I'll tell you yeah. what, he, he tried to blow that screen up. Oh, they yeah, got him they again. They got him again. Carter Orr with back-to-back -back fouls as Kyle Stoller got great position down low, and that's going to be three for Orr. And let's see what Coach Sensabaugh does. They're going to keep him in the game, Gilly, with 7.02 to go here in the third quarter. So Kyle Stoller will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe chicken free throw line. First one is on the way, and he misses that one. Kyle Stoller on the season is a 71% free throw shooter. That young man does a lot of things good, you know? Oh. <laughs> you know, coming in, he was 70 of 99 on the year from the charity stripe and has at least shot six tonight. This is Will Sensible, the freshman guard. Gets it over to Evan Osteen. This is Sensabaugh over to his brother, Owen Sensabaugh, trying to push it in to Carter Sutoff down low. They've got Carter Orr playing in the far right corner, and they are being very patient on the offensive end. This is Owen Sensabaugh from the left side, and it's good. Owen Sensabaugh knocks in the simplified flooring three-pointer. It's 37-20 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Great job attacking right there. Reversing the basketball, getting the free look down in the corner area. And Lockoff with a left-hander tries to knock in this 
little short jumper, misses that one. Here come the Bearcats. Sends the ball from the left side. He'll dribble drive, take it inside, and score again. Owen oh, sends the ball. He's got five, the last five, and he makes it 39-20 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Pretty move right there by that young man, dribble driving and attacking the glass after settling for the three the last time and they knocking don't. it off the backboard for an easy deuce. And I'd tell you how much sense ball has on the evening, but they don't have him on the board. They'll bring it over to Evan Osting. Evan Osting, Carter, or he'll dribble drive. <laughs> the big man is going to get fouled. Nice play there by Carter Orr. I didn't expect that, Gilly, from him to go baseline and try to knock it in. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty quick first step right there, showing a little athleticism, putting the basketball on the deck, getting it to the rim. Going to get two charity tosses for his effort. So he will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Young man, just a little around 70% at the charity stripe. And, folks, we got all these stats. We give them to you because the coaches and the athletic directors at our respective schools do a great job of getting us the information on the season stats. And uh, we are so happy we get that stuff because it makes our broadcast so much easier. Yeah, greatly appreciated. Second one on the way, and he knocks that one in. And Carter Orr's got five of the night. The Bearcats lead 41-20 on the carry insurance scoreboard. So everything going Bearcats' way here in the third quarter. This is Kyle Stoller guarded by Sutoff. And Stoller gets great position, but Sutoff walls up. Rebound comes down, and Sutoff gets the rebound on a second missed shot. He'll outlet it to Will Sensiball. Sensiball goes down the right side, a little spin move. He's going to take it up. He's going to be fouled, and he'll go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, the length of Sutoff right there just makes a huge difference, you know, the opponent's trying to attack around the rim and his length and his, you know, his ability to change the trajectory, the shot, and uh, led to a breakout. And there's Mr. Sensible attacking the rim, going to get two free throws. Will knocks in the first one. He's got four. Second one on the way, and he makes that one. He's got five. When I say Will or Owen, I'm not disrespecting them if I don't say their whole name, but there's two of them out there. So uh, we call them Will and Owen, Sensible brothers. E2 at 70% at the charity stripe. Makes it 43-20 on the carry insurance scoreboard. This is Kale Winnens with the ball. They'll get it over to Caden Sin. Sin back to Winnens. Back over to Kyle Stoller. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Kyle Stoller, a fantastic night for the senior. He's got 15 on the night, and it's 43-22 on the carry insurance scoreboard, and another simplified flooring three ball. Great execution right there by Wayne Trace, getting an answer with that three ball by Stoller. This is Owen Sensible. He's going to be fouled on the dribble drive. Don't forget to check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. We'll be picking a Stolly Hustle Award winner, Gilly, from amongst probably the winning team. And, you know, we'll see how that goes, but we got plenty to choose from tonight. Quiet, subdued crowd here from Lima Senior. Bearcats lead by 21 here with 4.42 to go in the third quarter. Didn't expect it, Gilly. I, I, you know, it, look, it's a 21-point game and anything can happen, but uh, Spencerville's played really, really well. They played really well at both ends of the floor, and they set the tone early on with their defensive uh, execution and game plan, and it's just been a struggle for Wayne Trace to, to make a push and – these first four minutes, obviously, in that third quarter, guess who it's going the way of? Tyson Gerber with the ball up top, gets it over to Winnens. He'll dribble drive to the right side. And nice move. Nice move by Kale Winnens, the 5'10 senior. Makes it 45-25 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Winnens has got two. Right back down the floor come the Bearcats, and they're going to get Carter Sutoff. And a little zealous on the rebounding prowess there. They've got him. I think that's his Let's third. Let's take a look on this replay. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, they got him going over the top of Staller. That's his third. So I think that puts uh, Orr and also Sutoff both with three. 
Stoller's going to take it at the left side and score easy. Kyle Stoller, what a, what a player that young man is. He's got 18 on the night. It's 45-27 with 3.50 to go on the carry. Insurance scoreboard. They'll go inside to Michael Woods. Michael Woods finds Sutoff in the middle of the floor. Sutoff kicks it back out to Woods. They'll go Will Sensible. I thought he was going to pull up on the three. <laughs> he, I did too. He looked like he was ready to throw that one in. This is Evan Osting on the left side. Sensible pushes it down to the block to Sutoff. Sutoff with a little turnaround jumper. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Stoller. Good job by Stoller defensively. Stoller's going to take it coast to coast. <laughs> and wow, Kyle Stoller with a little dipsy do. Great body control, and he scores. He's got 20 on the night. It's 45 29 with 3.12 to go in the third quarter. He gets the ball close to the rim. He's scoring. Mm -hmm. And the Raiders aren't going away, are they, partner? No, they're not. Woods pushes it into Sutoff. Sutoff turns around. Little three foot jumper, and he knocks it in. Carter Sutoff. Good six, job six, with six, the footwork man. inside, squaring up. Going high and soft, knocking in that little floater from about six feet. Makes it 47-29 on the carry and turn scoreboard. Kyle Stoller is going to go to the rim. He just takes it in, scores, and is fouled. Kyle Stoller right now doing everything for the Wayne Trace Raiders, and they're going to get Carter Sutoff on the foul with 2.41 to go. Well, guess who they got leaning right there? They got Sutoff leaning, and once... Staller got him in the air. It was a quick blow by to the rim, and not only did he attack the rim, he's going to, you know, go to the foul line for the end one. So Kyle Staller, the 6'3 senior, averages 17.3 a game. He is the heart and soul of this team. He and Brooks Lockoff, the All-State guard, uh, who went down with a injury this year, averaged 22 a game. And uh, he's over there sitting on the bench, and it's unfortunate that he can't play in this game tonight. But Wayne Trace with an admirable showing right now, down 47-31. They push it into Carter Orr. Orr is guarded by Hudson Myers down on the low post. They'll good go job back by in. Myers right there defensively. Yeah, really good job. off that baseline. Oh, insensible. You're talking about handles, Gilly. He can handle the ball. My goodness. This is Orr. A little step into the lane, and he's going to get fouled. Good job right there, getting his feet underneath him. Let's take a look and watch his footwork. Yeah, Hudson Myers didn't have a chance there when he got up in the air. He just went right into him. So good piece of officiating there. Carter Orr will go to the line. Nice little spin and lock move with an up and under. Got his defender into the air, jammed that shoulder into the defender and drew the foul. Knocks that one in from the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Second one on the way, and it's good. Carter Orr, 6'4", junior, has got seven on the night. And the Bearcats lead 49-31 with 2.03 to go on the carry insurance scoreboard. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Lima Senior High School, the Division Three district semifinals. The winner takes on the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Stoller backs himself in and he scores. Kyle Stoller has scored the last 12 points for Wayne Trace, and he's just been sensational. He's got 24 on the night, and it's 49-33 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Yeah, he's trying to, to keep the Raiders in the contest, no doubt about that. Win an outlet on a stolen pass, and they are going to say Kyle Stoller scores, and he's fouled by Owen Sensabaugh. My goodness, he's got 26. And it's 49-35. Don't look now, Gilly, but the Raiders making a comeback. Well, that was really close. To being intentional. To being an intentional I knew what foul. you were going to say, yeah. Yeah, because you have to put an effort towards going for the basketball, and that's what Coach Sensiball was asking. You know, that really easily could have been a bucket and then two free throws and then the ball out of bounds. So Stoller will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line and knock it in. He's got 27 on the night to lead all scores. Yeah, and they've got it down to 13, partner. See what the Bearcats respond to here with 1.26 to go in the third quarter. The Wayne Trace crowd chanting defense. This is Osting on the left side. He'll get it back to Sensabaugh. They're going to slow the offense down. They'll go inside to Carter Orr. Carter Orr with a nice move, and they're going to say he lowered his shoulder, and that's number four on Carter Orr, Gilly. And Coach Sensabaugh not happy about that call. Well, he went to the up and under and the step through and led with that left shoulder into the defender, and if that defender is vertical, 
You know, there is an opportunity there to draw the charge, and that's what the official saw. Lockoff with a pretty move, and he misses the layup. Tanner Lockoff had a chance to cut it to 11 and misses the layup with 52 seconds to go. This is Owen Sensible on the right side. He'll dribble drive baseline, takes it inside, misses the shot. Kyle Stoller with another rebound. He's going to bring it down the floor. This is Stoller, goes up on the left side. He's fouled, and he's going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line and shoot two and a chance to cut into that lead. Yeah, that's on Will Sensible, apparently, you know, with the block. Staller going to go back to the charity stripe where he's going to get two free throws, and he's gassed right now. Well, look, the Wayne Trace Raiders have figured out if they get to the rim, their probability of scoring is so much more, and they're getting contact, well, they're getting the line, and they're cutting into this lead. Staller with the first one misses that one. And they're, you know, and they're 70% as a team from the charity stripe. So Stoller will step up to the line with 41 seconds to go, the second free throw. Second one on the way, and that one is good. So Kyle Stoller has 28 for the Wayne Trace Raiders, and he's going to take a breather with 41 seconds to go. Coach Linder <laughs> just encouraging the kids. Yeah, and there's Stoller. He's going to get him a quick blow for that last eight-minute push. So we got a 12-point game here, partner, with 41 seconds to go. Bearcats get it into Sensabaugh, and they're going to get Winnings on the foul. And Coach Linder just pointed to his head, like, you got to think, boys, you got to yeah, think. you got to think. That's one of those hand checks where he just got right into him and made that little extra contact. And as a result, Mr. Sensabaugh, Owen Sensabaugh, is going to be going to the charity stripe. So Owen Sensabaugh will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. First one on the way, and he knocks that one in. Makes it 50-37. Owen Sensabaugh has 15 to lead the Bearcats tonight. That's a quiet 15, Gilly. He's such a good player, and he's so smooth on what he does. Mm -hmm. You just don't realize he racks up those well, points, and he's got a chance at number 16 right here. I mean, you look at the box, I mean, you look at the season totals. You know, him at 10-1, Evan Osting 9-9, yes. Owen Sensible 14, Carter Sadov 12, 9, Carter Orr 7.8. My goodness. Tough scouting report to write up. <laughs> right, right. Here come the Raiders down 51-37. Winnings with the ball on the left side. Lockoff dribble drive baseline. Gets it out to Winnings, three ball on the way. And it's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Stoller. Stoller in good position. He's going to take it back up. And Sutoff knocks the ball away. And he throws the ball away. And a chance for the Bearcats here. And they let that one slip away. Wayne Trace with under five seconds. This is Lockoff. Takes it inside. Gets it to Stoller. Stoller dribble drive. And they don't get a shot off. After three quarters of play from Lima Senior, the Spencerville Bearcats lead the Wayne Trace Raiders 51-37. We'll have fourth quarter action right after these messages. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School, where after three quarters of play, the Spencerville Bearcats lead the Wayne Trace Raiders 51-37. Today's three-point sponsor is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. So, Gilly, the, the, the Bearcats one quarter away from a rematch in the district final with the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Well, I'll tell you what, if Wayne Trace has anything to do with it, they're not going to let them celebrate. <laughs> they're going to. They're. They're not going to quit. They're going to keep coming at you, Coach Linder, and his staff. You know, I've, I've coached against them, and they do a I have a ton job. of respect for both coaches tonight. And Coach Linder's group will just not go away. And you know what? Imagine where they would be with a health, healthy Brooks. Oh my off. goodness, he's so good, and they are so good when he's on the but floor. But every team, you know, every team Everybody, faces yeah. adversity yeah. and injuries, and unfortunately, it happened to the Raiders. So we are in the fourth quarter here. Danny Hobart, Darren Gilbert from Lima Senior High School. Coach Guy Neal from the Ohio Northern University coaching staff come over and said hi to us, and I felt bad he wanted to talk a little more. We had to go in the air. And oh, Winnings with the foul Winnings. there, reaches in, and they're going to get him on the foul. Let's see if we can't get it on the replay. Here's what I do like, though. Watch what he does defensively. Oh, he did slap down <laughs> on him. He slapped down. I thought he went underneath, but no, he got him across the wrist. So Evan Ostings will trigger the ball in front of the Bearcat bench. Grady Smith in the game now for the Bearcats. 
Good job there by Wayne Trace on that help and recover on that diagonal up screen for Sutoff. They'll go inside to Sutoff against Kyle Stoller. And Sutoff with a nice up and under. He just misses the shot. Evan Osteen, Johnny on the spot with the rebound. Kicks it back out to Owen Sensiball, who will get it over to Will Sensiball. Boy, there, there you see Owen, or excuse me, Carter Sutoff with the ability to get to the rim. And now you know why all these college coaches are here. Oh. Yeah, put another 15 pounds on him and watch him get in the weight room and see what he can do. Absolutely, especially at a program like Ohio Northern where they really develop kids. Foul on the play. That that to be on goes against Tanner Lockoff. Yep, That's his call. second. Look, the, the cupboard's not bare at Wayne Trace, folks. They've got some sophomores and juniors that are oh. really good ball players. So Big freshman coming up. Big freshman, you're absolutely right. When you say big, he looks bigger than his 6'4 height they've listed him at. He's a freshman. So they're going to have some good basketball teams with Coach Linder running the show up there. They always, always show out. Sensiball tries to go baseline. He kicks it back out to Sutoff. Sutoff finds Evan Osteen. They'll find Will Sensiball from the left side. Three ball on the way, and it's good. Will Sensiball with another simplified flooring three. And that freshman's got eight, and it's 54-37 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Good There's a steal by Owen Sensiball, or excuse me, by Will Sensiball. Go that ahead, was a No, that was just a really good job making the extra pass by Osteen right there, not settling for a good shot but getting a great win. And like you said, Will knocked in that three. Hudson Myers guarding Will Sensible. He's going to take it in. A little dipsy do, and he misses that shot. Here comes Kyle Stoller. He'll kick it out to Lockoff. Lockoff dribble drive. Kick it to the corner. Dribble drive to the middle. Shot goes up, and it's good. Brady Miller, the 5'10 okay, junior, good knocks there, it in. <laughs> Makes it 54 39 on the carry insurance scoreboard. A little pressure here by Wayne Trace. Nicely done by the Bearcats. Oh, and Sensabaugh. Gilly, look, we talk all the time about deep tournament runs, and what do you need to get a deep tournament run? You need good guard play, and you need post players that you can put the ball on the block and get buckets. Right. Spencer has got them all. They've Spencer got, it has all. got them all. Yeah, yeah. They do. They really do. There's a three ball on the way, and it's off the mark. And Spencerville smells this one at 56-39 with 5-14 to play in the fourth quarter. Well, it's a nice luxury to have when you can take Owen and move him to the two guard and play well at the point. Then you throw Osting in there with his senior leadership. You know, it makes him tough to defend on the perimeter. we got a timeout on the floor. We're going to take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Back here at Lima Senior High School in the Division Three District Semifinals. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. 5.01 to go in this one. Danny Holbert, Darren Gilbert from a, eh, I'd say 70% capacity crowd here at Lima Senior. But it's a go? little cooler. It's a little cool. It's a lot cooler. <laughs> that first game was jam-packed. Well, My guess what's going to happen Saturday. Oh, it's going to be packed in here, Gilly. It's we'll be back. Be a hot one. You and me will be back here to call that dandy. <laughs> Good job by Osting right there. Being strong with the basketball. Carter Setoff corrals that ball. Carter Orr, I thought he should have just took it inside. He was close to the basket. But uh, here's Sensiball. He's double teamed out top. And a steal. A steal by Hudson Myers. And he loses the ball. And the Bearcats with 4.31 to go here in the fourth quarter lead 56 39. And there's a foul. They're going to get number 30, Lance Min Minley, excuse me, 6 1 guard. Four thirty to go. 56 39. Coach Linder's trying to press the right buttons right now. He knows clock is his demise right now. Absolutely. Just at four minute mark, nice pass inside. Nice Carter set off and a great job. <laughs> what a great job. Let's take but. a look on this replay, this Charles Rivers. Great camera work right here. Look at that block the first time and then the second time. And then set off kicks it with his foot. Yes. Yeah, what a great job by our camera people. Great job. Staller with the ball up top. He'll swing it over. 
Calls for the ball up top, guarded by Evan Osteen. He's going to dribble drive left side, and he is so strong. Look at that, Gilly. He is so super strong. He's got 30 on the night of the Raiders, 41. It's 56-41 with 3.50 to go. Yeah, he could be really sneaky good at the next level. You know, he's getting 30 against a really good Spencerville team. And, you know, scoring at every facet of the game. Our colleague at WSN Miles Holiday said that uh, – earlier tonight that Defiance College was here scouting him, and they're really, you know, he's, he's high on their list. So. Well, I can guarantee a high Northern's asking questions about <laughs> it. Because when you put 30 on the on the board sure. as a senior, you're going to get some attention. Sutoff misses the pass there, but it's corralled by Osting, and they'll kick it back out to Will Sensible. Now, here's what I like. Coach Sensible sitting over there letting his kids play the game. Absolutely. No pressure on them. Just execute everything, and look what they got. A little Going high, side, low little, kick. Yep. Carter Orr to Carter Setoff. Yep. He makes it 58-41. Carter Setoff's got 12 on the night. There's a steal by Will Sensiball, and the Bearcats can feel this one as we get to the three-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. The Bearcats lead 58-41. They find Setoff again down low, and he scores. My goodness. Carter Setoff's got 14, and the Bearcats have extended to 60-41 on the carry insurance scoreboard. Great pass there by Osting. Nice finish by Sutoff. You know, Coach Linder over there still coaching the kids, still coaching them up. Evan Osting's with the foul there, and uh, we're at the 241 mark. And that stoppage of play, and it looks like the folks from Wayne Trace are headed out the exit doors. So, Gilly, it looks like Spencerville is going to win this one. Let's talk a little bit about that matchup with Ottawa Glendorf. They played last year in the district final. A, a blowout win by the Titans. This is a different Bearcat club. It's a different Bear Clock, Bearcat. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. Can point. I say that? Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, been yeah. a long day, I think. Yeah, it has been no, a long it's, day. No, it's, it, it's, it's been a year to the waiting, you know, for the Bearcats. I'm sure that they walked off last year, didn't play their best basketball, but – OG was on a roll at that particular time. And so 365 days later, you're going to get a second opportunity and a second shot to get them in the district finals. And you with and I will be on the call. Yep, yeah. with the opportunity to move on to BGSU to, to play the regional. Oh, there's Carter Sutoff. He says, you got there's two pair. I got a flush. flush. I called it a flash, but we're <laughs> called a flash flush. <laughs> Again, he's just so explosive. He is. And quick. Makes it 62-43 on the carry insurance scoreboard. My goodness. That was explosive. He's done it all tonight. He's absolutely done it all. He's got 16 for the Bearcats. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to it's gonna be a packed environment in here. Oh, absolutely. It's going to be two teams that's going to will themselves to try to get a victory to get to Bowling Green and – yeah, I'm, I am really looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, you know, Gilly, both teams will travel well, but there will be a lot of people mm -hmm, from, from Northwest area. Ohio who just want to see that matchup. Yep, two so. good coaches, two good coaching staffs, really good basketball players. And the Bearcats throw that one away, and it's going to go back to Wayne Trace with 132 to go. You know, Spencerville's the type of team, Danny, that can give OG all they want because it all starts with their guard play. Absolutely. You know, and then they got the two post players. You know, they got a unique basketball team that can expose OG in a variety of ways. And same thing with OG. They've, they've got a, an all-stater that's going to be a Buckeye that, you know what, he's going to get his points again. It's got to be the complementary players there to go along with them to beat a team like Spencerville. Kyle Stoller with another jumper. He's got 34 of the 45 for Wayne Trace. Boy, what a way to end your career. <laughs> Absolutely. And the Bearcats lead 62-45 under the minute mark here remaining in this game. So I think Coach Linder has told his kids, oh, they're going to stop play so they can get that's, some. That's uh, really yeah, classy from is. Coach Linder. He yeah. asked the official to stop to get them subs in. He's going to do the same thing. and Classy move, classy move. Yes, it was. And, um, and Kyle, Kyle Stoller is going to play his last game. Finishing with 34 tonight. 
getting applause from both Spencerville and his Wayne Trace Raider Nation community. Well, Wayne Trace gave it a go, Gilly. They were just undermanned uh, with their All-State guard, Brooks Lockoff, on the injured list. And uh, Kyle not Stoller, bad. yeah, not, not a bad showing. 18 wins to six losses, get beat in the district semis, win your conference. So Spencer will lead 62-45. They'll dribble this one out here. And Michael Woods with the ball on the left side. He'll kick it over to Landon Kale in the game for the Bearcats. We'll go Hunter McFerrin in the game on the right side. Grady Smith. Give these kids an opportunity to touch the basketball to determine the Absolutely, absolutely. And the Bearcats from Spencerville High School will go on to the district final as they win this one 62-45. They'll meet up with the OG Titans Saturday afternoon right here at Lima Senior. When we come back, we'll wrap this one up and have the Stolly Hustle Award winner right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School where the Spencerville Bearcats have punched their ticket to the district championship game after a 62-45 win against the Wayne Trace Raiders. Gilly, our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner tonight is? Well, we could have picked numerous guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, we could have. Difficult <laughs> choice because I'll tell you what, it was very balanced scoring, you know, for the Bearcats. Yeah. But, you know, after we talked about it, Evan Osting. Evan Osting, absolutely. Young man set the tone early and um, did, did, did what he needed to do. I, I told you, Gilly, he was on the all dirty team. When I mean it, and that's by a good thing. That's a good thing. He gets after everything. He gets he, on the floor. He does. Yeah. Because it all, does. man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he, I mean, he just, I, I think in the first quarter, he set the tone and everybody else fed off of that. And uh, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, Gilly, <laughs> that'll wrap it up from Lima Senior High School. The Spencerville Bearcats move on to the district finals where they'll take on the Ottawa Glandorf Titans right back here Saturday afternoon. They win this one 62-45. For our entire WSN crew, for Darren Gilbert, I'm Danny Hoberg saying we'll see you next time. You've been watching High School Basketball on WOSN. <laughs>